In this video, we will show you how to install and map the Link 4 rain sensor to the iGrow 800 controller. You see the rain sensor must be installed when dry due to the fact that any water trapped inside can condense and cause corrosion. The first thing you want to do is install your four stranded shielded wire to the rain sensor. Now we have a rain sensor pre-assembled on a bracket here and we're simply going to flip the rain sensor over like that. Next we're going to go ahead and then remove those four set screws securing the top to the base of the sensor. So let's go ahead and simply remove these screws real fast. Now once you have the screws loosened simply just lift the rain sensor like this and set it aside. Inside the rain sensor housing is desiccant silica gel. Just take this out temporarily and set it aside as well. Prior to wiring the PCB we want to run our four stranded shielded cable through the watertight gland. Now that we have the sensor PCB out, if you look at the PCB, you have blue terminal blocks and you also have dip switches. Now the dip switches allow you to determine the rain sensor sensitivity. And for this demonstration, we will flip switches two and three on and leave the remainder of the switches off. This setting is the tipping bucket emulation setting. The included rain gauge guide also in the box will provide you with a variety of settings that you can use. On the terminal block we will land our four wires as follows. The red to P1, the black to P2, the green to NO, and the white to the COM. Now that you have the wires attached to the sensor terminal blocks and the dip switch is set, it's time to put the sensor back together. You first want to go ahead and remove the excess of this shielded cable to where your PCB sits as follows. Then you want to go ahead and get that silica gel pack and put it down there as well to absorb moisture if moisture happens to enter inside. Then you want to sit your PCB board and then go ahead and put your sensor top back on. Secure the sensor screws. And then lastly you want to tighten the watertight gland. Now that we have landed the wiring on the rain sensor, it's time to take that shielded cable to the iGrow 800 controller and land it on the back PCB board. Now if you open up the controller, you'll land four wires on this board. The first wire, the red, will be going to the 12 volt terminal block along with the 12 volt power of the power supply that's powering the controller board. Now in the GND, you'll be landing the black wire along with the ground of the 12 volt DC power supply. Now on the other side of the board, at the weather station terminal blocks, you'll be landing the green wire into the rain terminal block, and you'll be landing the white wire into the GND terminal block right next to it. Now after you have landed these four wires to the back of the PCB, it's time to go ahead and close this controller and go to the controller programming screens to map the sensor. Now for the controller we're simply going to go ahead and hit OK and then system setup and then we're going to go to sensor setup. Now at sensor setup we're going to hit map sensors scroll down with the wheel to the rain hit OK and you want to make sure that the highlighted cursor is on enabled because we want to enable the sensor hit OK and then next hit home 
to save your changes. Now from the home screen, if you were to hit the home button a second time, you can see your rain sensor displaying no, which indicates no rain. Also, if you were to view the first four outputs on top, the paired proportional outputs, you got your ridge vents at 99% and your sidewalls at 99% in stage cool six. But we're going to go ahead and simulate a rain event and watch how the rain override affects vent systems. Now with our rain sensor right here, we're simply going to go ahead and simulate rain. And as you can see, the rain sensor is engaging and the vents are now closing, responding to the rain event and they're closing to their override positioning and the override positioning for the ridge vents is 5% and the sidewalls is 50%. And that's our video in installing the link for rain sensor to the Yagro 800 controller.